Welcome to St Mary's Church here in Beeston, everybody. This is the first time uh, I've been able to preside at communion for two months. So it is lovely to be back here today at our altar uh, at St Mary's and um, good to have Andrew with me as well. So, oh, sorry about that. Turn the phone off. <laughs> Turn mine off. Let's just, uh, okay, so... These are things which don't usually happen on a Sunday morning, honest. Okay, so I've turned the phone off, okay. And, oh, I can see somebody joining us. Hi, Sue. Nice to see you. Let's hope some more people come on as well. Although I haven't, not sure, if, who knows. Anyway, we'll see. Lovely to welcome you here today. Lovely to see whoever joins us during the service or later on. So, uh, yeah, cow, hi, there we go. I'm not going to say hello to everybody, but it's good to see you too. And hopefully some more people will come in too. Great. Back here at St Mary's, first time for two months, and uh, uh, we have the altar ready for a communion service for Ascension Day, a very special day in the church's year. And you can't see it today because um, the sun's not shining in the right direction, and it wasn't this morning either. So, um, but we have the most fabulous, wonderful Ascension window up there, and if the sun had been shining this morning, then I would have come and taken a photo to share with you. But you're going to have to wait until it's uh, shining quite early in the morning to get that photo. So we're here for communion and a poignant day, being back after such a long time. And poignant too because there's nobody else in church apart from us too. But you're with us online and that's lovely. So welcome to this Ascension Day service. So we will do a simple communion service. We're gonna sing the Gloria, the Peruvian Gloria. Do join in um, with the response, which I will sing, Andrew will lead, the, and I will sing the response. Do join in with me what I sing. And we will pause at eight o'clock if we haven't finished our service, just to go outside to um, for the applause for key workers for the NHS. Let's just pause for a moment as we gather here today in this place where prayer has been offered over many decades on this site where prayer has been offered over many centuries, many generations. And let's give thanks to God for being here today. Ascension Day marks the beginning of a special time of prayer, Thy Kingdom Come, which runs till Pentecost on the 31st of May. That time of prayer is for us to pray for God's kingdom to come here on earth. But it also has a particular intention for us to pray that people around us will know God's love for them. And we're inviting you to think of people that you know who you would like to know God's love. So call them to mind in this service and pray for them today and on all the days leading up to Pentecost. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, for 40 days we have been celebrating with joyful hearts the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, his bursting from the tomb and his defeat of the power of sin and death. He appeared to his disciples many times and told them about the kingdom of God. Today, we recall how he left this earth and returned to his father, ascending into heaven to take his throne over all dominions and powers, trusting in his reign over all creation and submitting to his kingly yet loving rule. Let us hear the story of his parting. part of the reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Jesus was staying with them. He orders them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father. And he tells them, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, they were gazing up towards heaven. 
Suddenly, two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Alleluia, Christ is risen. It's he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Seeing we have a great high priest who has passed through the heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us offer him the praise worthy of his name, the Gloria. Glory to God, glory to God, glory in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God, glory in the highest. To him be glory forever. To him be glory forever. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Glory to God, glory to God, Son of the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, Son of the Father. To him be glory forever. To him be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Spirit. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Spirit. To him be glory forever. To him be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Let us pray that our risen and ascended Lord will lead us to eternal life. Risen Christ, you have raised our human nature to the throne of heaven. Help us to seek and serve you, that we may join you at the Father's side, where you reign with the Spirit in glory, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, your ascended Son, has sent us into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your Spirit and fill our hearts with the fire of your love that all who hear your word may be drawn to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. So for Ascension Day, hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, mm, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my father has promised. To stay, so stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him, and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple praising God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you, O Christ. Christ. Our prayers of intercession. So let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you have exalted your Son, Jesus Christ, to your right hand and made him the head over all things for his body, the Church. Hear us as we pray for the church throughout the world. Let us particularly remember churches in our companion link dioceses in Sri Lanka, in Sudan and South Sudan, in Tanzania, and also in the United States and West Virginia, in Germany, in Hanover, and also in 
in uh, Sweden. Make us and all your people re receptive to the gifts he pours upon us that we may use them to your glory and the building up of the body of Christ. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord God Almighty, the Ancient of Days, you have given your Son all authority in heaven and on earth. Hear us as we pray for the world he came to redeem. We uphold all those nations, almost every nation on the earth, affected by the coronavirus. Pray for all those who strive to bring healing and wholeness to those in need from the coronavirus and from other diseases and illnesses. Grant that we may know, even in this time, the things that make for peace and may strive for the reconciliation of all people. In his kingdom, the Lord's kingdom of justice and peace and love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father of all, whose Son has promised to be with us always to the end of the age. Hear us as we pray for those among whom we live and work. Pray especially for the peace, people of Beeston, of Beeston Hill and of Cottingley, also the parish of Wither, and the people throughout this deanery of Armley. Grant that we may be so aware of the Lord's presence with us, that people may take note of us, that we have been with Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, our Redeemer, whose Son ever lives to make intercession for us, hear us as we pray for those in any kind of need, Pray particularly for those from our parishes and particularly this parish of Beeston who is suffering at home or in hospital at this time. Pray for those who suffer with them, who watch alongside or have to watch and wait at distance because their loved ones are in hospital and they cannot visit them. <coughs> May he who has borne <clears throat> our infirmities strengthen and heal all these for whom we pray, that they may find grace to help in time of need, and rejoice in the Lord's salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, whose Son has borne our humanity into the heavenly realms, and gone before us to prepare a place for us, Hear us as remember before you those whose earthly sojourn is over and whose life is now hidden in him with you. And in a brief moment of silence, we name in our hearts those who've died recently. Lord, make us joyful and expectant that at his coming with all his own, we too may go forth to meet him and share in his eternal joy. Merciful Father, accept, accept these, these prayers, prayers for the, the sake, sake of, of your Son, Son our Saviour, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. It's lovely to see some more of you joining us for this service. And now we come to the peace. So we're going to share the peace together with you with each other and uh, you'll be sharing it with everybody who's watching this service today. Jesus says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. If you love me, rejoice because I am going to the Father. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. So peace be with you, everybody. So we continue with our service today.
we have bread and we have wine. Blessed be God, by whose grace creation is renewed, by whose love heaven is opened, by whose mercy we offer a sacrifice of praise. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, the King of glory. Born of a woman, he came to the rescue of our human race. Dying for us, he trampled death and conquered sin. By the glory of his resurrection, he opened the way to life eternal, and by his ascension gave us the sure hope that where he is, we may also be. Therefore the universe resounds with Easter joy, and with choirs of angels we sing forever to your praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, the broken bread and wine outpoured, may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with all the saints to feast at your table in heaven, through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us keep the feast. feast. Alleluia. And with the body of Christ. 
Lindsay, the body of Christ. Blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. Let us pray. Glory to God, whose power at work among us can do infinitely more than we can ask or conceive. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus for ever and ever. Alleluia. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we, we thank, thank you for, for feeding us, us with, with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. God the Father, who has given to his Son the name above every name, strengthen you to proclaim Christ Jesus as Lord. God the Son, who is our great high priest passed into the heavens, plead for you at the right hand of the Father. God the Holy Spirit, who pours out his abundant gifts upon the church, make you faithful servants of Christ our King. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and with all whom you love this day and always. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for joining us here today. It's been lovely to have your company. I just wish you could be here in person, but uh, it was over the, over the way, airways. And just to say that on Sunday, we'll be doing a 9.30 service uh, oh, is it nine? Yes, nine thirty or ten o'clock, Andrew. Ooh. Oh. Uh, it's at Venerable Bean. Their service so is usually at ten o'clock, whereas it's half past nine at, at St Mary's. So perhaps we should go for ten o'clock. Yeah, ten o'clock or something. We'll be on B time. Oh, I'm in bed. Okay. So yeah, you get half an hour in bed, okay? And you don't have to go far. So ten o'clock on Sunday, we'll be uh, leading the service from Venerable Bean Church. Um, Andrew will be leading the service, and that is because is it Monday? It's Monday. Is, is the feast day of the Venerable Bede. So, 25th of May. Got to be there next week, haven't we? Yeah. And then the following Sunday, uh, we'll be here at St Mary's for Pentecost. And who knows what will happen in the week, but there we go. So, stay well, keep well, uh, look after yourselves, uh, look after those around you, keep praying for everybody, keep ringing everybody, keep in touch, and God bless you, and God keep you. And until we see you again, bye. 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 Oh, I should have said a thank you to Sandra for helping us uh, to get the Wi-Fi working. <laughs>